I was Hamlet. I stood at the shore and talked with the surf, blah, blah, the ruins of Europe in back of me. The bells tolled the state funeral, murderer and widow a couple, the councillors goose-stepping behind the high-ranking carcasses, coffin, bawling with badly paid grief. Who is the corpse in the hearse about whom there's such a hue and cry? Tis the corpse of a great giver of alms. The lane formed by the populace. Creation of his statecraft. He was a man. He took them all for all. I stopped the funeral procession. I pried open the coffin with my sword. The blade broke. Yet, with the blunt reminder, I succeeded. And I dispensed my dead procreator. Flesh likes to keep the company of flesh among the bums around me. The morning turned into rejoicing. The rejoicing into lip-smacking on top of the empty coffin the murderer humped the window. Let me help you up, uncle. Open your legs, mama. I lay down on the ground and listened to the world doing its turns and step with the putrefaction. I'm good Hamlet. Give me a cause for grief. Ah, the whole globe for a real sorrow. Richard the Third, I, the prince-killing king. Oh, my people, what have I done unto thee? I'm lugging my overweight brain like a hunchback, clown number two in the spring of communism. Something is rotten in this age of hope. Let's delve in earth and blow her at the moon. Here comes the ghost who made me, the axe still in his skull. Keep your hat on. I know you've got one hole too many. I would my mother had one less when you were still of flesh. I would have been spared myself. Women should be sewed up. A world without mothers. We could butcher each other in peace and quiet, and with some confidence. If life gets too long for us, or our throats too tight for our screams, what do you want of me? Is one state funeral not enough for you, old sponger? Is there no blood on your shoes? What's your corpse to me? Be glad the handle is sticking out. Maybe you'll go to heaven. What are you waiting for? All the cocks have been butchered. Tomorrow morning has been cancelled. Shall I, as is the custom, stick a piece of iron onto the nearest flesh or the second best to latch unto it since the world is spinning? Lord, break my neck while I'm falling from an alehouse bench. And to Horatio, confidant of my thoughts, so full of blood since the morning is curtained by the empty sky. You'll be too late, my friend, for your paycheck. No part for you in this my tragedy. Horatio, do you know me? Are you my friend, Horatio? If you know me, how can you be my friend? Do you want to play Polonius, who wants to sleep with his daughter, the delightful Ophelia? Here she enters right on cue. Look how she shakes her ass. A tragic character. Horatio Polonius. I knew you were an actor. I am too. <clears throat> I'm playing Hamlet. Denmark is a prison. A wall is growing between the two of us. Look what's growing from that wall. Exit, Polonius. My mother, the bride. Her breasts, a rose bed. Her womb, the snake pit. Have you forgotten your lines? Mama, I'll prompt you. Wash the murder off your face, my prince, and offer the new Denmark your glad eye. I'll change you back into a virgin, mother, so your king will have a blood wedding. A mother's womb is not a one-way street. Now, I tie your hands on your back with your bridal veil, since I'm sick of your embrace. Now, I tear the wedding dress. Now, I smear the shreds of the wedding dress with the dust my father turned into, and with the soiled shreds, your face, your belly, your breasts. Now, I take you, my mother in his, my father's, invisible tracks. I stifle your scream with my lips. 
Do you recognize the fruit of your womb? Now go to your wedding, whore, in the broad Danish sunlight which shines on the living and the dead. I want to cram the corpse down the latrine so the palace will choke in royal shit. Then let me eat your heart, Ophelia, which weeps my tears. I am Ophelia, the one the river didn't keep, the woman dangling from the rope, the woman with her arteries cut open, the woman with the overdose, snow on her lips, the woman with her head in a gas stove. Yesterday I stopped killing myself. <laughs> I'm alone with my breasts, my thighs, my womb. I smash the tools of my captivity, the chair, the table, the bed. I destroy the battlefield that was my home. I fling open the doors so the wind gets in and the scream of the world. I smash the window. With my bleeding hands, I tear the photos of the men I loved and who used me on the bed, on the table, on the chair, on the ground. I set fire to my prison. Throw my clothes into the fire. I wretch the clock that was my heart out of my breast. I walk into the street clothed in my blood. Do you want to eat my heart, Hamlet? <laughs> I want to be a woman. <laughs> what thou killed, thou shalt love. The stove is smoking in quarrelsome October. A bad cold he had of it. Just the worst time. Just the worst time of the year for a revolution. Cement in bloom walks through the slums. Dr. Zhivago weeps for his woes. Sometimes in winter they came into the village and tore apart a peasant. I'm not Hamlet. I don't take part anymore. My words have nothing to tell me anymore. My thoughts suck the blood out of the images. My drama doesn't happen anymore. Behind me the set is put up by people who aren't interested in any drama, for people to whom it means nothing. I'm not interested in it anymore. I won't play along anymore. The set is a monument. It presents a man who made history, enlarged a hundred times, the petrification of a hope. His name is interchangeable. The hope has not been fulfilled. The monument is toppled into the dust, raised by those who succeeded him in the power three years after the state funeral of the hated and most honored leader. The stone is inhabited. In the spacey nostrils and auditory canals, in the creases of skin and uniform of the demolished monument, the poorer inhabitants of the capital are dwelling. After an appropriate period, the uprising follows the toppling of the monument. My drama, if it would still happen, would happen in the time of the uprising. The uprising starts with a stroll, against the traffic rules during the working hours, the street belongs to the pedestrians. Here and there, a car is turned over. Nightmare of a knife thrower, slowly driving down a one-way street towards an irrevocable parking space surrounded by armed pedestrians. Policemen, if in the way, are swept to the curb. When the procession approaches the government district, it is stopped by a police line. People form groups. Speakers arise from them. On the balcony of a government building, a man in badly fitting Mufti appears and begins to speak, too. Uh, when the first stone hits him, he retreats behind the double doors of bulletproof glass. The call for more freedom turns into the cry for the overthrow of the government. People begin to disarm the policemen, to storm two, three buildings, a prison, a police precinct, an office of the secret police. They string up a dozen henchmen of the rulers by their heels. The government brings in troops, tanks. My place, if my drama would still happen, 
would be on both sides of the front, between the front lines, over and above them. I stand in the stench of the crowd and hurl stones at policemen, soldiers, tanks, bulletproof glass. I look through the double doors of the crowd, pressing forward, and smell the sweat of my fear. Choking with nausea, I shake my fist at myself, who stands behind the bulletproof glass. Shaking with fear and contempt, I see myself in the crowd, pressing forward, foaming at the mouth. I string up my uniformed flesh by my own heels. I am the soldier in the gun turret. My head is empty under the helmet, the stifled scream under the tracks. I am the typewriter. I tie the noose. When the ringleaders are strung up, I pull the stool from under their feet. I break my own neck. I am my own prisoner. I feed my own data into the computers. My parts are the spittle and the spittoon, the knife and the wound, the fang and the throat, the neck and the rope. I am the data bank, bleeding in the crowd, breathing again behind the double doors, oozing word slime in my soundproof blurb over and above the battle. My drama didn't happen. The script has been lost. The actors put their faces on the rack in the dressing room. In his box, the prompter is rotting. The stuffed corpses in the house don't stir a hand. I go home and kill the time. At one, with my undivided self. Television. The daily nausea, nausea, of prefabricated battle, of decreed cheerfulness. And how do you spell Gemutlichkeit? Give us this day our daily murder. Since thine is nothingness, nausea, of the lies which are believed by the liars and nobody else, nausea. Of the lies which are believed, nausea. Of the mugs of the manipulators marked by their struggle for positions, votes, bank accounts, nausea. A chariot armed with scythes sparkling with punchlines. I walk through the streets, stores, faces scarred by the consumer's battle, poverty without dignity, poverty without the dignity of the knife, the knuckle duster who clenched fist, the humiliated bodies of women, hope of generations, stifled in blood, cowardice, stupidity, laughter from dead bellies. Hail Coca-Cola, a kingdom for a murderer. I was Macbeth. The king had offered his third mistress to me. I knew every mole on her hips. Raskolnikov, close to the heart, under the only coat the axe for the only skull of the pawnbroker. In the solitude of airports, I breathe again, I am a privileged person. My nausea is a privilege, protected by torture, barbed wire prisons. I don't want to eat, drink, breathe, love a woman, a man, a child, an animal anymore. I don't want to die anymore. I don't want to kill anymore. I force open my sealed flesh. I want to dwell in my veins, in the marrow of my bones, in the maze of my skull. I retreat into my entrails. I take my seat in my shit, in my blood. Somewhere, bodies are torn apart so I can dwell in my shit. Somewhere, bodies are open so I can be alone with my blood. My thoughts are lesions in my brain. My brain is a scar. I want to be a machine. Arms for grabbing, legs to walk on. No pain. No thoughts. The main point is to overthrow all existing conditions. Hamlet, the Dane prince and maggot's fodder, stumbling from hole to hole towards the final hole, listless in his back, the ghost that once made him green like Ophelia's flesh in childbed, 
And shortly ere the third cock's crow, a clown will tear the fool's cap off the philosopher. A bloated bloodhound will crawl into the armor. to the capitals of the world in the name of the victims. I eject all the sperm I received. I turn the milk of my breasts into lethal poison. I take back the world I gave birth to. I choke between my thighs the world I gave birth to. I bury it in my womb. Down with the happiness of submission. Long live hate and contempt, rebellion and death. When she walks through your bedrooms carrying butcher knives, you'll know the truth. Oh. In the spacey <laughs> nostrils and auditory life canals, gets too long, in the creases of the skin and <laughs> uniform of the demolished <laughs> monument, <laughs> or in here comes the ghost as well. After 